Hey, what's happening? It's B-Side. Today, we're gonna to talk about how to build a chord on the bass. Hey, thank you so much for joining me today. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more educational bass videos, reviews, all that good stuff. Also, there's a link below to our Patreon page where we do all sorts of cool stuff, so check that out. Also, I've been getting a lot of feedback on people wanting to learn about bass chords or chords on bass. What we're gonna talk about today is major and minor chords. So this is a little bit of Theory 101. In the, uh, down below, I'm gonna actually link to a, uh, a video that I did with, uh, you know, learning a whole bunch of chords in like three minutes. Um, so once you get this video and kind of understand it, then you can jump over to that video and you'll see a lot more of these chord videos coming out because people really, it seems like everybody really wants to learn more about chords on bass. And so this is how you build a chord. Now here's what's cool is this theory, this piece of music theory applies to bass and guitar and piano and all of that stuff. Now we are looking at my awesomely rudimentary drawing of a bass guitar, right? So here's, here's your headstock right here. So this is like the first fret right there, okay? So we have like the first fret and then we'll have like the E, here we'll actually label these strings, E, A, D, and G, right? So the strings are going down, the frets are going over, and we're gonna look at the major scale. Okay, so hopefully you know the major scale. Uh, I can, I'll actually link to a video also below in the comments of a video I did on, on the major scale. But the major scale is the foundational scale for most of music, especially Western music, um, pop music, things like that. So I'm just gonna mark out real quick where on the neck the major scale would be. So if we were gonna do this, um, let's say in, I don't know, F sharp, here, 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 and here, 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 and here. Okay? So that is one basic pattern of the major scale. This is where the dots would live. So we haven't named any of these yet, and we haven't numbered any of these yet. But this is the basic shape in my, once again, crazy drawing. Now, we're going to start labeling a couple things so that we can understand how we build a chord. Because a chord is essentially a combination of the notes that are in the major scale. Okay, So we have this first note right here, and we're going to put a little diamond around that one. And this is what we call the root note. Okay, So the note that represents the key we're in so in this case, this is going to be F sharp, right? So we have E, the E string, F would be here, F sharp would be here. So the root note, this green is going, oh man, that's a much brighter green than I was expecting it to be. Hopefully you guys can see that. It says F sharp, okay? So F sharp is the key we're going to be in in this major scale. So if we wanted to be in G, we would just move everything down a one fret down or a half step, and then we'd be on G right here, right? So this shape on bass, which one of the great things about bass, everything's totally movable. Like you could just take this whole thing and move it all the way around and not change anything. And whatever note that one lands on, that's what scale you're in. F, this is the F sharp major scale, okay? You move that down half step, it'll be G major scale. Okay, so super easy. So that first one right there is called the root. In the root, we're also going to number as number one. Okay. Now the nice thing is, is now we can just go sequentially in order and number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So we're going to do that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, okay? So now each of these notes has a number associated with it. To create a chord, a major chord, all you do is take the one, three, and five. So that'd be this note, this note, and this note. And that, we're just gonna put, I'm gonna put a little major right here. 
equals the 1, 3, and 5. Okay? So, I'm not going to get into to it specifically with F sharp minor. What I want you to understand is the pattern that we're looking at to make any chord you want, right? So, if you were saying, I want to make a, you know, a C chord, for example, you could find the C root note, okay? Put your scale there, then find the 1, 3, and 5 of that scale, and those three together make a major chord, okay? that's It's that simple, literally. Now, in addition, let's talk about a minor chord. We'll use a lowercase m for that. The minor chord is the one and the five, the same one and the same five as we have in the major chord. The only difference is the three gets what they call flatted. Okay, now this is a lot of music terminology just to make people feel smart, but basically a flat three, okay, which is like a little B with a three. Actually, let me write these bigger down here so you can see this. So major equals one, three, five, minor equals one, flat three, five. Hopefully you can see that a little bit better. So all you're doing to flat something, you just go a half step or one fret over. So if you're playing guitar, actually, let me show you. So if we are, let's use this exact, well, let's not go off the fretboard, but let's go here. So say we're here and we want to flat that, you just go half a step, that's one fret over, and that's the flat note, okay? So in this example we have here of F sharp minor, this would be the one, the three, it's right here, and the five, right there. Ooh, let's get back in there, okay? So those three notes, let's put Big Al back here. Thank you, Big Al, for your assistance. I appreciate that. Those three notes combined make the chord. Now, you can play, I mean, there's a whole bunch of different stuff you can do from this point. We don't, I, I almost got way too far ahead of myself, um, but I stopped myself, and so that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna stop ourselves. So, but this is foundationally how you make chords. So when you hear people talking about, we, you know, I need a major chord, that's just the one, three, and five. I need a minor chord, one flat, three, five. But all of those numbers, and here's a hot tip for you, any of those numbers you hear in generally, especially in the, you know, if you're in the Western part of the world, are always referencing the note. So if somebody says, here's a cool little tip for you. If you're at a blues jam and everybody's hanging out and they're saying, hey, let's play 12 bar blues, one, three, five in F sharp, since we have that up here. Um, I've never heard that called out before at a blues jam, but pretend like we are at an advanced blues jam. F sharp, guitar players hate playing in F sharp. That's why you probably won't hear it. But the one, three, and five they're referring to is literally the one, three, and five of the major scale. So the guitar player is going to play the F sharp here as the first, as the first chord they're going to play. We as bass players are going to know um, Okay, this is the three. And actually in blues, they'll probably say one, four, five. Okay, I said three because we're talking about that with the chords. But if they said four, then you would just know, oh, the fourth of the scale is right here. No problem. I got that. So the key to all of this is that when you look at the major scale, every note in the scale actually has a number. Okay, that number represents a note. And when you combine those numbers, you can come up with chords. Okay, we just looked at major and minor chords, but we can, you know, diminished, augmented, whatever kind of chords we want. They just have a different numbering pattern associated with them. That's it. That's how you build chords. Now, when you're playing a chord on bass, whether or not you even decide to play all three of those notes at the same time or just two of them, very common to have, you know, somebody play just the one and the five, for example, because the, the way to finger, that's pretty easy, right? So... That is the foundation of building chords. And so 
Once again, I just want you to digest that. The major scale, every note in the scale gets a number. You bring together those numbers, you put all those numbers in a pot, and when you play them at the same time, you have a scale. <laughs> a chord. Sorry, not a scale. All right, so I just said, when you play those together, you have a chord, and that's how you foundationally start to build chords. So the cool hey, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope a couple things happened today. One, I hope you had some fun. Two, I hope you learned something today. And three, I hope you feel more empowered as a bass player, because that's the whole goal, really. And if you want to become a, a larger part of the Bass Factory community, I, I'd encourage you to do uh, three things. One, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Two, check out our Patreon page, because that's where we do Patreon-only posts, Patreon-only giveaways, uh, as well as give out free backing tracks, all sorts of stuff, and uh, you can get the link below for that. And three, make sure you check out uh, check us out on Instagram, just instagram.com slash thebassfactory. We're always doing a f ton of fun stuff over there. So with that, thank you again for, uh, for getting this far in the video. You're at the very end, so uh, thank you, and we'll talk to you soon.